Today we're going to review the safety performance of the Volkswagen ID4 electric SUV. This safety assessment also applies to the structurally similar Audi Q4 e-tron. This video will help to demystify the subject of auto safety and aid you in choosing a safe vehicle for you and your family. Let's start by looking at the small overlap crash test. This is a rigorous evaluation that assesses the impact of a collision on just 25% of the vehicle's width. This test is designed to simulate the effects of a front corner collision with another vehicle or a stationary object like a tree or utility pole. Due to the concentration of crash forces in a small area, this evaluation is particularly challenging. In the small overlap test, the VW performed exceptionally well on both the driver and passenger sides. The structure had a maximum intrusion amount of 7 centimeters, which is very respectable. Dummy movement is also well controlled, and the risk of injury is low. Next up is the updated side impact test. The Volkswagen did exceptionally well. The structure had a generous amount of space between the seat center line and B pillar, coming in at 29 centimeters. This number is much better than the average SUV and underscores the strength of the vehicle's side structure. The ID4 was also tested in the Euro NCAP's challenging side pole test. As you can see, it did extremely well in this evaluation, with minimal structural intrusion. Having a strong roof is critical during a crash where the vehicle rolls over. The ID4 withstood nearly 25,000 pounds of peak force. This is enough to earn the highest rating of good and should ensure the roof won't collapse in a rollover. Now let's take a look at the technologies that help to prevent a collision. The automatic emergency braking system uses radar and other sensors to automatically apply the brakes when a collision is imminent. The ID4 system was tested at 12 and 25 miles per hour. In both tests, the vehicle performed flawlessly and avoided a collision. Finally, let's look at the performance of the headlights. Having good headlights helps to mitigate against some of the added risk that comes from driving at night. The base headlights scored an acceptable rating. The low beams provide insufficient distance, but this is somewhat mitigated by automatic high beams. However, the high beams fall short in the corners. The upgraded headlights earned a rating of good, with the low beam headlights providing sufficient illumination in all situations. Unfortunately, the high beams fell short in the straight path in the corners. To get the highest performing headlights, you would need to option for the upgraded ones on the Audi Q4 e-tron. This system has low and high beams that provide sufficient lighting in all situations. The high beams in particular project an extremely far distance which makes driving at night on unlit highways much less stressful. Overall, the Volkswagen and Audi earned high marks. The Audi edges out the VW slightly by having higher performing headlights available. If you found this interesting, please subscribe to see more captivating videos about auto safety.